drawstring bag is just the right size for my sleeping bag. But you can make a bigger one that could be used to carry laundry or used as a Santa sack at a Christmas party. Or maybe you want to make a smaller one. You can make a really small one for toys for a special child in your life. Or you can even make an eensy weensy one that could hold candies for party favors. Whatever size you want to make, I'm going to show you how to make a simple flat sitting drawstring bag. No matter what size bag you want to make, it'll take just two pieces, a circle and a rectangle. The width of the rectangle you need is determined by the diameter of the circle that you use. So this circle is eight and a half inches in diameter. So if I look on this chart and find the eight and a half inch diameter, that means the width that I will need is 23 and a half inches. Click the link below to get your own copy of this chart. The height of the rectangle that you want is determined by the height that you want the finished bag. So I want my bag to be 15 and a half inches tall. So I want my rectangle to be height of 22 and a quarter inches tall. So I'm going to cut 23 and a half inch by 22 and a quarter inch rectangle. And if you're working with knit, be sure that the stretch goes in the height direction. If you're using a woven fabric as opposed to a knit fabric, you'll need to finish the edges of the pieces with a zigzag stitch or an overlock stitch before you sew together, and that will help it to not unravel. Once you have your rectangle cut, fold in half lengthwise, right sides together, pin along one edge, and then mark on one side one and a quarter inch and one and three quarter inch. And we're gonna sew the side seam stopping at that part. So we sew all along the edge, but not in this section. And we're using a half inch seam allowance. Here we have the seam stitched with the opening. If you're using a knit fabric, you're gonna to need to use a zigzag stitch or a stretch stitch. Once that's done, press the seam open and then right by the opening, just top stitch right on either side just to hold the seam allowances down. With the piece still inside out, we're gonna fold down the top edge by an inch and a quarter. Pin this. And then we're gonna sew an inch away from the top edge all the way around. Now that the top edge is finished, we're gonna take the bottom edge and fold in half to find quarters and put pins to mark the quarters. Now take the circle that we've cut out and we're gonna fold that into quarters and mark those as well with pins. Then place a circle right side up and then take the tube that we've made and pin at the quarters right sides together. And then if you need to add some more pins in between those, We're gonna pin all the way around and then sew with a half inch seam, just helping the edges line up as you stitch. Now that the stitching is complete, we're just gonna turn the bag right sides out. And there it is. The channel at the top is ready, so we're just gonna feed through whatever we're using for a drawstring. So for this version, I just got another strip of knit fabric 
I pulled it a bit so that it would curl in on itself and kind of stretch out. And then using a safety pin, you can just feed it through. Tie a knot in the ends. There it is. So now my drawstring bag's finished. I can pack away my sleeping bag. And now I'm ready to go. So what size bag do you want to make? For more details about this and to see other great tutorials, check out ebitastudio.com.